attitude, left them never knew Right down the avenue, straight is the latitude Blessed is the gratitude, to firm to the test Never move, time effect, at your neck, do you check Are you prepped, tie your boots, from grassroots to past roots I really do, the feel work like a moon So if I is the source, you is the two The idea started like a seed, then it grew Something you could choose, shimmered on a low Cause you know, people them as do Never left the flow, so I had to grow I become the food, with a little force No remorse, we can make a move now they do. We create the path that we're tunneling Not stumbling, ten things that we're juggling Done struggling, hard work, put the muscle in Push down to come up, is the pedaling Go meddling, keep spitting Heart pumping, who's quitting? Keep flying, keep pushing Go all in with no cushion Keep busting, keep bringing Let's dig in, keep kicking Keep jumping, are you willing? To leave nothing, we winning Perfect You waiting in the car, you coming? Oh, look, it's Uncle Akin. Ah. Who's that? Are you up? What? You get asked for? Yeah, baby, Kings is here. Hi. Right. Enjoy watching this today. Are you not playing? No, no, I'll just give my knee a break, man. What's wrong? What do you like? I'm slowly like limping. Hollis, where were you last week? No, I went from last, it's just been hurt from, it's been hurt from about months now. But playing on it week in, week out, I need to chill. Mm. It's a good game to like get let them like, let other people have a game as well, you know. Oh, 100. Rotate the team. What's happening, people? It's me, Hunty, back again for our 26th episode of the season. And today we're back in the league with an away fixture at Rainy Town, who we beat 2 0 back in January. But we don't take any teams in this division lightly. We've got a few players missing today, as it's one of our furthest away fixtures deep in Essex. And with a lot of our players from different parts of London and with kids' football in the mornings, etc., it's impossible for them to get here in time. But this is the exact reason why we have a big squad. And I've said this from the start of the season, we just don't have any weak links player wise, as we can all step up and do a job. We currently sit in 7th place in the league with our opposition 1 place above in 6th but we've played the least amount of games in our league and as you can see from the table we can't win the league this season but we want to finish as high up in the league as possible and we're aiming for 3rd spot which I think is doable. Today's conditions out there is very very windy as you'll see from our cameras being blown down on a number of occasions. Oh yeah, and one last thing before I get started. The fine pot's top 200 pounds today. And now stands at a whopping 204 pounds thanks to LT and Shan being late today. Then it will increase further after this game, so without further ado, let's get straight into it, shall we? Yeah! Yeah? yeah? Alright, huh? you're fucked. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> Alright, look lads, anyway, I'm going to do the... Team, I've already told people outside where they're playing and who's playing where and whatnot. And I think I've told the guys who ain't playing anyway, but I'll just say it on a whole so everyone hears it all together. Centre backs is Noots and Neil. We've got O'Neill left back, uh, Johnny right back. Midfield, we have, sorry, Aaron, DM. Oh, playing eight is going to be Ty. And then Theo, you're playing 10. And going forward, we've got Nicky, Wes, and did I say Driz? Yeah, everyone got that? Yeah. yeah. So look, basically, as you've seen, what, the past three weeks, different teams, yeah? Same outcome, we've won games. It just depends on what we decide to do in terms of turning up. We turn up, we listen, we communicate, we don't argue, we don't get negative with each other, we win games. And then we give the opportunity for whoever's on the bench to come on and also come on and affect the game, as shown last week. So all I just want us to do is just keep following the same game plan. I don't need to keep repeating it. Everyone knows what I want us to do. So let's just go out there, do, do what we've got to do and just come out and win these games, man. Yeah, we've got a couple more league games left. Nick has said that if we do win the rest of our games, we could potentially come third. I don't want us, look, we've lost games. I don't want us to come into a position where it looks like it's like a relegation, whereas it's not that because it is kind of tight in this league if you look at the points. So let's just get to a point where at least if we're top three, we've made a point, we've proven a point. We've said, look, we're here, we deserve to be here and we're going to come for everyone next season oh, yeah. do you yeah. know what I mean Amazing so pride, exactly yeah. this is a this season's been a learning curve first season in and we've done well from what from what we wanted to achieve we've done actually quite well so let's just keep the momentum going go out there and have a good Saturday have a good weekend should I say yes, yeah, in, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. quick fire interview bro why is that I don't it's like it I don't like being off here. First question. Go on. On a scale of 1 to 10, I want you to rate yourself on the following attributes. Okay. So the first one's pace. Three. <laughs> Awareness. I'd say seven. Decision making. I'd say seven again. Being a team player. Six. <laughs> okay. Slightly under average. Yeah. I can lose it a little bit. <laughs> What present or old player would you most liken yourself to? What's the hard one that is, mate? Jesus, I'm going because I used to be a defender, so yeah, I'd. Um, oh, I'd go Nesta. 
Yeah. What advice would you give the younger you now? Don't do a lot of things. Yeah, uh, stay healthy and fit and don't drink. <laughs> oh dear. Who do you think the best player in the team is? Oh, quite a few. I'll say I'll go Addy. Who do you think the worst player in the team is? Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> that including yourself. Oh, Sorry. okay. Uh, oh, that's bad. Um, <laughs> Jesus, I, I'm going to think Ty for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Whose voice do you hear in your head when you're playing? Akin. <laughs> that's all, bro. Oh, that's scary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there has to be, obviously, our strongest team. Yeah. And I just got a fear for who is in that strongest team and who who thinks they're in it and might not be in it. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. the only fear. But, but he's, he told it's hard. me it's hard. He did. He hasn't told me he's. He's he's got a core six to seven. He said. Yeah. He ain't obviously ain't so told that's me it, what isn't that it? is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the same with every any team, isn't it? Yeah, any team, any. And manager. I know, like I know two players, Brian and Max. Oh, definitely. If they're fit. They yeah, have yeah. to start. It's similar to that. Definitely, definitely. My age, I'm just glad to be in the conversation. Bro, you know? <laughs> forty-seven, mate. Forty-eight. Bro, you're forty-eight. I'm forty-nine in August. In August, shit. What are you doing for your fiftieth? Retiring. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any room in there for me? To my hood. <laughs> oh, is this your ends, yeah? Yeah, I'm about to find me drive down there. Oh, alright. Your area is too windy, man. It's mad, isn't it? It's windy when it's sunny. Man. Yeah, fucking hell. It's weird, isn't it? It's, yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's nice, but it's, it's not. It's not actually. It's the. It's the wind. It's wind. Yeah, the wind factor. If the wind dies, it's we fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tails, mate. Uh, tails. It is. Uh, we'll switch around if that's all right. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. all right, have a good, have one. good one, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Keeper! Yeah. I'm gonna give it, you're gonna give it, I'll show you fix! And we're off in our 26th episode. Or is it 26? Or 26? I don't know. And I don't know why I stated the fact that it's not relevant, but it is true. So as you can see from the sky, it's horrible conditions out there today. And we just had a huge hailstorm just five minutes before. But as the game progresses, the conditions will get better. So let's get straight on the game, shall we? And these rage bots will disappear soon. And with a minute gone, anyone want to see an old-fashioned vet footy tackle? Lovely! And the ref sees nothing wrong with it and now it's waste to myself! But then get the ball tangled up between my feet and the ball goes back to the keeper. So now Johnny will be welcomed back after a long layoff and a quick flick from Driz and that's Chris on the ball. And Driz has carried on his run here as Chris lays it back to him. He gets it over and he's waste with a free header on goal just wide! And what a cross there by Driz and a free Bro. header there by Wes! <laughs> And he's actually hacking the gaffer who decides whether it's a fine or not. I put all the cases on the group and he individually decides whether it's a fine or not. Then he deemed that 100% fine on Wes, so the pot's up to £207 now. But more importantly than that, Rayleigh really turns on the attack. A man might come sprinting out and then number 16 just got a touch on it. Luckily for us, he couldn't guide it goalwards. And these first seven minutes, apart from Wes's chance, they've had all the ball. And as you can see, our line has got this one wrong. Their player's actually onside here. And our players have stopped here because we thought he was offside. But the ref said play on and the number 10 had a snapshot there. And again, that's another chance for Rayleigh. And that's myself on the ball. And as I go for the ball, I lose the ball. And now the number 12 brings it towards goal. And sprays it out wide to their winger. And they have got the win this half, but it's been all them. And as they pass it in, to number 16 again. Thankfully, it's an easy one for Mike. And I have to admit, it's very hard conditions playing against the wind. As I'm blowing already and we've only played 10 minutes. Anyone want to see another Vets footy tackle? <laughs> Lovely. And they're the two biggest players on the pitch. But Wes seems to have come off worse here, but we've got a free kick. And it looks like it's tight to take it. He does, and then all of us scream and ball, and then Driz blazes it over the bar. Let's get the pad shot VAR to clear everything up. Ty shoots, it hits the player's elbow. What do you lot think at home? Is it a penalty or not? Comment below, and then Driz skies it from six yards out. <laughs> and now the fine pot's up to 210 quid. Then Wes does this. These nuts. <laughs> and then their player does this. And Wes is getting fouled all over the show. But we win another free kick. And it's Driz now. 
And as he sends it into the mixer, there's no one there, but he falls to myself. I take a snapshot. That's blocked by the Rayleigh Tan player. And as Neil collects it, yes. uh, and that's it, number nine trying to pants on it. What a tackle there by Neil. Well recovered, son. And we seem to have weathered Rayleigh's 10 minute onslaught as we slowly go into the game. And we're just on top here with Chris now playing the number 10 role for the first time. And it's O'Neill. Was that a shot or a cross? I don't know, but it was mighty close, whatever it was. And this is encouraging from ourselves, but the score still remains nil-nil. And it's Chris again on the ball, and he seems to be controlling everything here. He finds Dries, who in turn finds that right back Johnny who's overlapped. Crosses it in, and it's myself. Great block there by the defender. And as I head her in goal bounds, it comes off of the defender's back, and he accidentally catches my ankle with his studs. Here and where I didn't see what happened, I thought it was a foul. Your life went up, yeah? Was it in the head? Next to you. That's the only thing. Look at that. Oh, you reckon shit. that weren't a foul? That was his it fucking stuff. Weren't stand. a foul. Weren't a foul. You both jumped out. I know, That's another decision the ref got 100% right. And that's Rayleigh who's lobbed one over. And he's put a bit too much on that. Hold up, Mike. What did you do there? Yeah, and a little bit of showboat in there by Mad Mike. So it's O'Neill's pass to Aaron, he's carried on his run here. And a lovely weighted ball there by the general. <laughs> and a decent cross there by O'Neill. And then West goes down, and the ref points to the spot. Penalty. Hand shot VAR, please. And as O'Neill crosses it over, you can see there, number 23 just pushes West. And that's a great spot there by the ref. Got a penalty. That's why I come up here. Yes, I so it's Big Al to take the pen. He's only taken one other pen this season against Charcoal in the penalty shootout. And he scored that. Can he score this? Only just. <laughs> and that was almost a free pan fine. But it weren't. And we take a 1 0 lead. I tell you where it's going. Top, top right. right. Top, top left, sorry. Top left. Oh, Scotty. Hey! You lucky bastard. So 30 minutes gone on the clock and we take a 1-0 lead. And on the balance of things, I think we deserve that, as we have had the majority of the play. But that's Rayleigh coming straight back at us, trying to get the equaliser. And it's another 10 on the ball, who's a decent player. Gets his cross in for Mad Mike to safely gather that one up. And as he walks out to the edge of the 18-yard box, him and their number 16's having a bit of back and forward. And then 16 just clips his heels. And that, my love, is his handbags. Pure handbags. So back on the game, and it's Johnny receiving the ball from Noots. Chris now with a delightful takedown. And what a pass there, setting Chris now free. And there's one on one with the keeper. He slots it past him. Just wide. Oh, and I should have carried my run there to nick it in. So with eight minutes to go, we're pressing them hard here. And we've forced them into a mistake here. And there's Chris. And he's blocked. And there's Aaron. And he spots Wes free. Who looking at the camera just offside here. But that was a mighty close call there. Wait, what do you not think of the bitch? What do you think of it? There's nothing wrong with it. We're playing a lot worse than this. This ain't bad. Personally, I thought it was a great pitch to play on. It was soft, granted, but we've had a lot of rain in the last couple of months. But hold on, it's Drisdale again. Just have a look at my run. And how about this for a cross? Yeah, well, moving on. No. He started two on the dot. No, I know, because it started like raining. Yeah, but he started like And you all run over there, and then the other team, they was... Uh, don't, don't say you, the pussies all run over there. <laughs> yeah, all the pussies run. It started raining, yeah. It was all standing there, it started raining. Oh, oh shit, let's go to the dugout. Fuck you, pussies, bro. So with four minutes to go, and for all that possession, I think the keepers only had one save to make. And he's still with a hoof. Myself with a header. And Big Al wins the header. And he's heard my shout here, and he lays me on. And I beat the keeper. Can I put it into the back of the net? Well, what do you think? It's got to get it. Got to get it. Oh, yeah. Finish it, though. Don't miss. Please finish. Please finish. Yeah. Oh. Gonna yeah, but we said it. He'll do all that shit and then score a goal. <laughs> and I just need to clear this up as their players thought I am balled it. And I swore to them I never touched it with me hand. As the camera proves. Right, he's pressing here. Yeah, no one don't press like him. But he's the way he plays, he's not trying. Hold on. 
like user training. Hold on a minute. He's instinctive. Hold on a minute. You just said no one don't press like him. Nicky presses only when he scores. What kind of shit is that? Other than that, he doesn't That's where press. Come from. You're saying no one presses like him. What is going on here? If he presses once in a game and scores a goal, does that mean he's been pressing throughout the game? He's been pressing since you've been here. He presses well. He presses. What here? Today? No, since he's been here. Oh, I was talking about today. 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 He said it to me about three times since he's been standing. What today? No, that's what I said. When he scores. When he scores. Hey, Nicky, you got some haters here. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. He knows I hate him. <laughs> right, I just need to put this into context. Akin had been on at me all matches. I was having a poor game and was out of position on more than one occasion. But then I go and score and shut him up. Well, for about 30 seconds anyway. And with that, the ref looks at his watch, blows the whistle. First half, done and dusted. All right, well, guys, wait there, wait there, wait there. We're not doing too bad today, right? But one thing we need to one one thing we need to do is take care of the ball a little bit more. We are losing the ball at times, or not losing the ball. We're just taking that extra little touch and taking time to release it. Hence why you see when they're getting you guys with the little slide tackles or like the little nicks off of you guys. Do you know what I mean? So let's get the ball and play it a little bit faster. Passes need to be a little bit more progressive. It has been the past, I'll say, last ten minutes, but they need to be more progressive. Sorry, there's two things on boys. That takes a call from the person passing the ball. Yeah. And then also, if he calls it, listen to the call. Yeah, trust him. If he's giving you the wrong call, you turn into someone, that's that person's fault. But communication is yeah. just lacking a little bit. Yeah, so that's, okay, that's that. Yeah, everyone heard, everyone's got that. That first five, ten minutes, we should have just hit him. We should have hit him. So now the wind's playing a massive part, but we weren't playing football in the first 10 minutes. They had more of the ball where they shouldn't have. They're not better than us to have the, the ball that much, regardless of the win. Are we now going to say, because now we've got the win, we're just going to play to the win? No, we're not. We're going to play our game, innit? We're going to use this win to our strength, but still play our game. Yeah, so just do your thing. Right, straight into the second half we go. Thankfully, this half we've got the win with us. That was hard work in the first half. And that's true that we collect the ball off of Johnny. What can he do here? With them quick legs of his, he gets past their player. And he flashes it across goal, but there's no one here. And then the wind catches that goal cam. So it's O'Neill with a throw. Tynan collects it. And the short ball back to O'Neill when their player pounces on him. Just have a look at O'Neill's pace here. And he wins the ball back. And Ty gets the ball back for a second time. And he spots Driz. And their defender just gets goal side of him. But Driz ain't giving this up. Bruh. As he forces the keeper into a mistake and we win a corner. And just out of camera shot, it's Driz with a corner. As Wes comes steaming in back post. Just ends it wide. And we seem to have started the second half and we finished the end of the first. Strong with Driz yet again on the ball. Spots Johnny running into the box. Johnny back to Driz. He's got space here, crosses it over, and another guilt-edged opportunity there goes at begging. <laughs> but thankfully for the strikers, the goal cam's down at the moment. So we're unable to scrutinise whether they're a free pad fine. And just have a look at our defender, Newts, he's carried on his run. Ah, but just scuffs his cross. And the rainy defence get the ball and they manage to clear it. Then on 56 minutes, we make our first sub of the game with Lottie coming on for West. Camera. So the Gaffer's decided to bring on some fresh legs. And for me, not he's got to be the fittest person in Vets football. As the guy's just powerful and he's got an engine on him and he don't stop running. <laughs> so I'm just glad he's on our team. So on the far side, he's tied with the ball. O'Neill collects it. Back to Aaron. Aaron whips it over. And Driz is free. Oh, but just gets his bearings wrong. But again, that was another chance for us. Straight down the other end, a mistake from Aaron. And the Rady players have pounced on him. And as their player steams towards the byline, he gets his crossover. And then they all scream penalty. We need to have a look at the pad shot VAR, please. And as you can see, Newt and their player have a coming together. And I think we may have got away with one now. And for me, I think that was the same as their penalty shout. But what do you lot think at home? Was it a pen? 60 minutes gone, it's still 2-0. And we're coming forward again with Chris. He seems to have acres of space in the middle. Can he find myself or Driz? He finds Driz. And again, he's running down the byline. Can he produce another decent cross? He can! Ah, oh, and I get a foot onto it, but it goes straight to the keeper. And Driz has been laying him on the plate for our strikers all game. And if I'd have hit that anywhere else, it would have been a goal. So for the first time today, it's Mike with a big kick. And as the player kicks it up in the air, Aaron brings it down lovely. And yeah, again, he spotted my run. And I'm on side here. 
And I've already spotted Ty at the corner of my eye here. And there's a bear down on their goal. I'll pass it to Ty. Denied. If their defender blocks Ty, it would have been in for a certain goal now. And as he kicks the ball out, I get a second chance for the cherry. And as I float one over, the wind just gets to him. And yet another chance gone. But we're really starting to pile on the pressure here now. We've creased to myself again. And I've only got one thing on my mind. Get a shot off. And as I cut in towards goal, I shoot. Get it all. As the ball bubbles as I hit it. Put him in the Uber. Yeah, I couldn't do nothing about the bubble. But now we've got a free kick to deal with. As Rayleigh sent one over. As their player gets the ball on the edge of the box, and defence hold firm. And then just after we pick the camera up, so it's only 24 minutes to go. Can we get another goal? Not with shinners like that from myself. And now we've got some defending to do again. As their players just straight offside here. And it's a testament to how well our defence has played today. As Rayleigh have yet to have a shot on target. And that's our right back Johnny coming forward again. And he's linking up with Driz nicely this half. And Driz, if you're watching, look away now, mate. Taxi! Bruh. My brother is coming. Three times. And I love the way Don's there, quick to jump on the three pounds. But we've not yet introduced fines for bad touches. So I know a fortune. And then as Noots gets the ball, then number 16 has a little tug at him. And I think that's just out of pure frustration. With Chris now. Who passes it to Johnny out wide. Johnny to Driz. And again they have another tug. But Johnny's carried on his run here. Whips it over. And a good punch there by the keeper to clear away the danger. Anything you want to tell us? What do you think about coming over to watch what? the first week? Well, you can't play. You can't play, Ben. Next season. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's like, yeah, my legs. <laughs> hey, Ben, come just uh, come and take this ben. this idiot's place, bro. <laughs> and that's Ben there, maybe a new player for next season. As Addy rates him very highly. But back on the game is Chris with another good ball over to myself. And I've got a defender there to beat. But then I hear Naughty screaming for the ball. And I slot it into him. He hits it first time over the bar. But again, for all our chances we've had the second half, the keeper's not had one save to make. Can we change that now? Nope. It's a good header from their defender, but we win a corner. There you go, there you go, there you go. Come on, man. Goal. And from the goal cam, Newt has got a free header here. What? <laughs> but luckily for him, the ref had blown up a few seconds earlier for a free kick. So no free pad fine. So as Brady crossed one over, the players just offside. Well, I don't think their players heard the whistle. And that was a decent effort, to be fair. So with 15 minutes to go on the clock, it looks like there's a lot of tired legs out there. But we're still trying to press, trying to force them into a mistake. And then they make one, and Naughty Pants is on it. And with that, that's 3 0. And that's some great determination there by Naughty, who's just come on as he calmly slots it away to make it 3 0. And we deserve that goal for all that press in this half. So all we need now is to keep our composure, keep a clean sheet, and bring home the win. But saying that, it's Rayleigh with the ball now. And as Mike comes steaming out, there's a bit of confusion here in defence. And their player pounces on it, but can't keep it down. And that was a massive let off for us. <laughs> Hey, you just gotta love my mic. But since we've scored our third, it's been all Rayleigh. As they're coming forward again. And as they try to cross it over, they win a corner. And as they send it into the mixer. <laughs> and that's Mike having a few choice words with their number five. With them sneaky little shoulder barges. <laughs> Well, it is a contact sport. Well, it used to be anyway. But back on the game, it's done with the cross. And a great ball into the danger area. And neither team can get hold of the ball at the moment. As it comes out to LT on the edge of the box. Chris now. To Naughty. He sends one over. Ay, ay, ay. The mix up there by Chris and Don. But what a ball there by Naughty. So with just under 10 minutes to go, it's Rayleigh trying to get same game together. As their midfielder picks the ball up. And what a ball! And this striker's got goal side and nil. What a tackle! 
That was a superb challenge there by Neil. So with eight minutes left on the clock, we make our final substitution of the day with Shan coming on for Driz. And it's Shan on the ball now getting his first touch of the game. He finds Big Al who's done well in midfield today. So they just get tackled from behind. But the refways play on and they're coming forward. But Aaron's still down and we've got some defending to do here if we want to keep a clean sheet. And then up steps Don. And he clears the ball but only as far as two of their players. And he shoots and he's blocked by Newt. And then Mike gathers it up. And for the third time today, the camera decides to go for another Burton. And then the ref finally stops the play so Big Al can get some treatment. No, Al, you might as well come off. Yeah, yeah. Al, you good? Yeah? So as Al has to come off, thankfully he's okay to carry on and he comes back on. As Mike has a big kick. And all of a sudden he's tired. Oh, and he tries to loop over the player, but gets it all wrong, but he's still got the ball. And a cheeky little back heel with Chris, who spotted Shag completely free out. Bro. I've never lost the ball, dear my <laughs> So now we're into injury time with Chris coming forward again. Will this be our last chance of the game to get another goal? With Ty now on the edge of the 18 yard box. He cuts in, chops it over, and Chris, who started this play, gets the ball back. Shoots! And what a reaction we saved from their keeper! And that was indeed the last chance of the game as the ref looks at his watch, blows a whistle. Full time, done and dusted. And I just want to say a big thanks to Rayleigh Town for the game today. Well, that was a well earned three points and it moves us up to six in the table. And next week we're away to high flying top of the table Catholic United who actually play further away than today's opposition. So again, I can see us having problems with getting players here. And for anyone who saw our last encounter back in October, I suggest you watch it back as it was one of the best bets games I've ever played in. We narrowly lost 5-4 and it took me weeks to get over that defeat so I know me and the boys will want retribution. But at the same time, Catholic will equally be looking for the three points as they're going for their first ever Vets Premier League title. So you won't want to miss this one. Well, that's it from me for another week. I'll leave you with the Gaffer's full-time team talk and I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-da! Anyway, look, boys, well done. Uh, what was the score? 3-0 in the end? Yeah. Yeah? Should have been. Yeah, look. You got, <laughs> look at it this way. You guys know. Look, we won the game fantastic, but we need to punish teams. Let's just punish people and just put that fear in, in other teams that are going to play us. We've got Catholic next week. It's going to be a tough game, as you all know. Lads, listen, if we look at the game, we look at the stats, you can see how many chances we had and how many we, we didn't convert. We should have converted way more. This guy over here, uh, honestly, in my opinion, whoever was playing up top owes him an apology. Basically, look, he put in, he put in a shift to get down that wing and get them balls in the box. But we need to come better and just keep doing that. Like, come again next week and do better. Yeah, lads? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Well done anyway. Let's enjoy our weekend.